Hello, I'm Elizabeth Harrin. Hiring a new person for your project team, it's a lot of effort and it costs a lot too. The estimated costs of staff turnover could be anything from 50 to 150% of your new team member's salary, even more for top level managerial jobs. Today we're going to look at the cost of hiring a new employee. The costs to look out for are advertising the position, HR costs to receive and sort all the applications you'll get, potentially dozens of applicants. Then there's the time it takes to screen or pre-qualify candidates on the phone. You've then got to coordinate interviews, conduct those interviews, and that could include the cost of a room hire, refreshments and so on. And if you're doing psychometric tests or running any exercises for your candidates, you'll need to pay potentially for them too. There might be travel expenses for your candidates and there might be travel expenses for your interviewers so you need to factor that in as well. Once you've done those initial interviews you might have to repeat the whole cycle for second round interviews maybe even for third round interviews each perhaps getting a bit more complex and while you're doing this the ongoing costs of backfilling the position are still with you. You might have a contractor doing the role or you might be paying overtime to people while you're trying to find somebody permanent to take that job on a longer term basis. Finally, when you have the right person, you have to put in the time to develop and negotiate a package that's meaningful for them. Then you've got the cost of checking references. There might be other background checks or, or things that you need them to go through before they can be qualified to work for you. Then there's a the package itself, so that could be the salary, car, pension, healthcare, that's all the cost of onboarding the new employee. Then when the candidate has said yes, you start your onboarding process. That can take you a few days, several weeks, it could be lots of training, it could be none. So it depends on the role they're going into and their previous level of experience and probably the seniority and qualifications they already bring to the job. But it all adds up. How long is it going to take before they are productively contributing to the project in the way that you want them to? So think about where there are real money out the door type costs and where it's the cost of your time and where that's coming from. Who will support you for that entire process? It's probably not your project budget that's going to be paying for all of the outgoing costs, but the money does need to come from somewhere. So bear that in mind when you're next looking to hire a new team member for your project team.